Welcome to the Meeting and Sleeping Rooms Tour. Uh, during this tour, we'll go through all of the meeting space that we have to offer here at Joel, as well as the sleeping rooms. Now, as an exclusive group, you would be entitled to basically all of the meeting space. Um, this would be your main meeting room. It's called the Worship Center. It was completed in the spring of 2011, and it is uh, by far our newest uh, meeting area and largest besides a gymnasium. Uh, this room uh, comes with full sound system, uh, including some uh, wireless mics, uh, lapel, as well as handheld. Has front and rear projection systems so that uh, your singers can see the lyrics in the back of the wall if needed or notes uh, during your sermon. Also has uh, handicap access uh, to the stage. So if you have someone who is in a wheelchair or anything and they need to get on stage, uh, we have easy access there. Um, the room has, uh, is well lit, has windows all the way around as you can see, and it has a great lobby area that we're going to go into next here, um, as well as several uh, sitting areas. So we'll kind of head into the lobby, take a left here, it's like several sitting areas that you can see there. And then right in the corner over here is kind of a little alcove uh, just for hanging out, doing games, reading, uh, whatever you want to use that space for. As you can see, the uh, Windows all across, uh, overlooking that uh, great view once again. The restrooms are straight ahead there, and that concludes the worship center tour. Now we're going to head on over to the gymnasium where the rest of our meeting rooms are located. Uh, we're going to go through those double doors again. Uh, again, if you go down these stairs, that goes to our pool and changing area. We're going to go up to where the gymnasium is. We're going to actually take a hard left, like directly behind us in the corner here. It's called the Cedar Room. Uh, this room will hold um, up to 50. That's uh, set for 44, as you see it right now. Um, you can bring in sound if you'd like to. Uh, we also have portable sound that we can loan you if needed. Uh, this room is great because it kind of overlooks uh, camp there, overlooks everything. And it's uh, nicely appointed. It's a great room. It's one of our favorites. All right, we're gonna head back to the center of the gymnasium. We're gonna kind of pan around so you know where you're at here. We're gonna go to the other corner where we have uh, a couple more meeting rooms. The first one's gonna be the Tamarack room. Now, this room is great for breakouts. It uh, holds up to 40 people, has a TV, whiteboard. It's just a basic meeting room. Again, great for breakouts. Uh, we're gonna actually come out now and we're gonna go right next door to our second largest meeting room, which is the Spruce Pine Room. It's actually two rooms put together. Uh, this room will hold uh, up to 80 people. And as you can see, we have sound in here uh, already. You can also close this off if you'd like, and so you can actually use this as a breakout room, as two breakout rooms or as one large meeting room. It's kind of up to you. Uh, we're going to head back to the gymnasium and we're actually going to uh, pan around and head over to uh, towards the lodge. There's actually a hallway. Uh, going through this room, there's uh, restrooms in here as well uh, through this hallway. We're actually going to take an immediate left uh, right here to the hemlock room. This is a small breakout room that you can use as well. Holds up to 25. Let's see that room there. We're going to head back out to this hallway. Now we're actually going to go into the lodge area. Uh, we have one more meeting room to show you there that uh, is generally used for whatever group is in the lodge area, but as an exclusive group, again, you would get this entire area. Uh, this room actually has a, a kitchen in it, and it's a little more secluded and private. Um, actually holds up to 40 people in this room, including the table. You can sit people at the table, you'll see right there, kind of a conference area table. If you go out this back door here, this actually goes out to our mini golf, volleyball, go-kart track, kind of that area. So you have your own uh, access point there if you need to get some air or whatever. All right, there's the kitchen that I was telling you about over there in the corner with the refrigerator and everything. All right, that concludes the meeting room portion of the tour. Now we're going to head on over to check out uh, some of our sleeping rooms. Well, we're going to start off with one of our basic cabins. Um, this will basically be the road coming up from the uh, from to the right of the dining room. We're going to kind of come through here. There's the back of the offices. And we're going to pull up to this cabin here. This is cabin 10. Uh, we're going to go inside cabin 10 and check it out. It's uh, looking out from the front window. Now you'll see that these beds are kind of propped up 
This is because we go through and we make sure we clean everything out thoroughly. So uh, we're making sure that uh, it's clean underneath and around and, and everything like that. This room will actually sleep up to 14 people uh, in the, the way it's currently set up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go in the bathroom here. In the bathroom we have uh, two commode stalls uh, as well as uh, two sinks and uh, three showers. And um, we have excellent hot water capabilities in here. Um, as long as it's not, you know, use it non-stop uh, for several hours, the hot water will replenish itself. So it's uh, inside, basically a typical cabin. Here's what the cabin looks like uh, with the beds uh, down and made, and this is what it would be like when you actually check in. It's a little bit different uh, setup as well in that particular cabin. Okay, this is Luke's Lodge. This is our nurse's station in the summer. But as an exclusive group, you'd also have access to this. This is great for anybody who you might have this handicap or also just as leadership or more uh, hotel style lodging. It has a full kitchen, microwave, uh, as well as three bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms. There's uh, the first bathroom there. This is uh, one of the other rooms. It's a queen size bed. I'm gonna check out all of the rooms in here. A room with two twins there. There's the other bathroom. So another room here is a twin and a double. Very homey because it technically is a house. All right, now we're going to head on over to the lodge rooms. Now you've been to the lodge room before. But this time we're going to go through the parking lot here, up to the front front door of the lodge. This this lodge will in, sleep up to 34 in its entirety, between all the doubles and twin beds. We're going to hang a left here and go to room 12. Now this room has two twins in it, and it also has its own uh, private bathroom, just like all the rooms. There's a panoramic shot. Twins. Uh, this room is also a join. Usually it joins to a room with a double. There's the other side. This is room 14. This has a double bed in it, as well as its own private bathroom. We'll take a closer look at the bathroom here. We're going to finish here with just a looking out of the front door of the lodge here. This concludes the meeting and sleeping rooms tour.